Hello world, welcome back to our channel. My name's Paul and my beautiful wife Janet. Um, we're on our way to, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, you know how terrible I am, but I'll write it in here. And from there, we're going to, we, a driver from the Tuk Tuk rental company picks up the Tuk Tuk at the train station tomorrow and we get to do a three hour train ride to Ella and it's one of the more famous train rides in the world but for now before we head on the road we're just having a relaxing walk through the candy botanical gardens there's the spice garden here the botanical gardens this was established in 1822 but i'm waffling guys so i'm gonna show you my beautiful wife one more time and turn the camera off <laughs> Look where we are guys. This was $10 a person entry, but they obviously spend a lot of money keeping this as beautiful as it is. And this is just one tiny little bit of the whole gardens. Amazing. All these guys doing their work. Well, this guy was bringing me to see the bats, the flying foxes. And um, I was thinking I've seen a million of them, but I don't think I've ever seen one this close up having a sleep and he is alive because he keeps moving around a bit everywhere you look here there's more more and more and more it's beautiful this little lake the whole place guys this is quite quite well kept and I don't know if I said earlier on but it was established in 1822 Just amazing guys and for once I think the GoPro will be doing this justice from what I can see in the screen just amazing guys this is well worth a stop but we've got a long drive to do so let's head back to the toy baby and um, hit the road so we're we're at the Alawawa excuse me if I pronounce that wrong I'll spell it here for you that's our tuk-tuk here but these monkeys will steal everything, so we can only go one person at a time up the hill. And um, Janet's sitting in the tuk-tuk with all the... They even tried to steal stuff when she was in there, so we've got the curtains closed. But as we were driving here, guys, up the highway... Hello! Up the highway, we could see this cloud rolling in, and the tower was clear as a bell when we saw it from the distance. But then as we got a little bit further up the road, this cloud just kept getting thicker and thicker around the mountain. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see anything at all, but I'm gonna head up there. If it's worth it, I can't put the drone up, that was my plan. But if it's worth it, Janet can come back in after I've been up and she can have a look. Seriously guys, what rotten timing. Look at this. You can hardly see it in the cloud. Usually, as we, even as we were driving up here, it was clear as a bell. You could see the, you could see the village or the town down below. Oh, well, hopefully, as I'm climbing up, it might clear up. But I'm not getting my hopes up. Nothing, absolutely nothing. This is the tower here. Hardly worth the effort going up, but I'll go and have a look. I considered this to be having this as my Sri Lankan tattoo because this tower is really well known but it's just a big white tower so there would have been no real detail um, the stairs on the outside go up to a, the section where the real tower starts but once the real tower starts as you'll see the steps are on the outside and it's a little bit scary I've heard Nadia and Irfan went to the top but the budgeteers Paddy and Tice, they didn't even make it halfway up. Helena went a bit further, but the only ones I've seen actually going to the top were Nadia and Irfan. Steps going around the outside. This is scary, guys, really. Um, sadly, it's not worth going up to the top because you can't see anything. So, there's a heap of people here, so I'm just going to head back down, guys. I'd go up normally but can't see anything anyway so 
I'm yeah. going to go head down, give Janet a chance to come up. And I'm going to ask Nadia and Irfan for a clip of theirs so you can see what it would have looked like if we weren't inside a cloud. I figure we're losing 2002 Turning away through sunshine and snow Chasing my tail around the globe This bird says fly to the midnight And I met these guys up the tower. They only went up as far as I did. But now it's starting to clear up. Now we've finished. I might have to go up again when Janet gets back. Not again. And we've just driven like two or three minutes and we're below the cloud. But this is what we should have been seeing from the top of the tower. Just beautiful. And Janet's trying her first king coconut. Is it good, baby? Yes. Give me a taste. Oh, that's good. No, 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 that's all right. Oh, do you want a mango, baby? No, no, thank you, no. And guys, when you're heading towards Ella from the tower, see this place. I'm having chicken noodles. Janet's having fruit salad. What lovely, lovely people and beautiful food. And it's called the Sunflower Cafe. They're only newly opened. This is the girl that's cooking for us. Oh guys, the last hour, you look at the Google Maps here, twisty turns, doing about 20 kilometres an hour through this. It, look at this guys, unbelievable. And all that green is um, tea plantations, the dark green, look, this is grass up here, but all over here, that's all tea plantations. We've been riding through for the last maybe hour and a half just amazing guys and we've got about another 20 kilometers to go but it's all this twisty twisty roads so it's going to take us a while we're both getting a bit over it today well not over it but we'll be happy we'll be happy when we get to a hotel today won't we baby Here we are in Nowara, Nowara Elia, Elia, Nowara, Nowara Elia. I'll write it here, guys, so you can see it without my accent. Look at the view from our window. Beautiful. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time to explore this beautiful little town. We're getting the train to Ella. Now, tuktukrentals.com, guys, there's a lot of companies, well, not a lot, but there's quite a few companies that are copying tuk-tuk rentals and they rent your tuk-tuks, but you've got no guarantees. These guys have got it set up all over the country that if you have any problems, it can get fixed. They've got a really good backup system. And today, we go to the train station here in this town and a guy's gonna meet us there. He drives the tuk-tuk to Ella and we get to take the train, the really famous um, candy to Ella, but we, we're only doing a section of it, three hour section. And he'll meet us at the other train station with the tuk-tuk. So yeah, guys, cheap isn't always the best. These guys really look after you at tuktukrentals.com. So this is the train station. And um, poor Janet has to put up with my impatience all the time. We're 45 minutes early for the driver and an hour and 45 minutes early for the train, but that's all right. It's nice and relaxing here. Uh, and the, the town that I said before, that's not where the train station is. It's about 10 minutes out of that town at Nanu Oya. Nanu Oya is the train station. So if you're looking for your tickets, it's Nanu Oya a Ella, to Ella, sorry, speaking in Spanish. And I'm told that this is the really good section because from Candy to Ella takes like seven, around seven hours. This one only takes a bit under three hours, or that's what the timetable says. And we get to, so we get to experience some of the gorgeous Sri Lankan train travel, but we don't have to sit on the train for seven hours. And she'll be at Ella train station to meet us. And we're on the train, our driver met us. He's on his way to Ella already. He should be there when we arrive. Uh, look at how modern this train is. I was well, I was looking forward to an old rattle trap, but I think Janet's happy that it's a modern train. 
I'm excited to see. I'll show you some stuff out the window as we go along. But for now, I'm just going to relax. Look at this guys this is Ella just amazing I really wish now that we'd spent the time here instead of candy because we're running out of time quickly but look at this mountain up here big rock I'll um I'll show you that properly from our hotel balcony we get a good view just beautiful Janet said it's a lot like Denmark and she's right Denmark in Western Australia or Byron Bay for those who've traveled New South Wales. And guys, this is the rock from our hotel balcony. It's beautiful guys. And this isn't like our room balcony. This is sort of the chill out area. Just beautiful, amazing. We're so lucky to do this guys. And I'm gonna use this as a chance to do another pitch. Subscribe guys, please. If you're watching this via Facebook, join the page. Watch the occasional video. If you really want to support us, go into the website, buy a copy of the book. Look, we do have Patreon, you can be a Patreon, but I'd rather you bought a copy of the book. It's only $7 US. And um, if I can sell enough copies, hopefully a publishing company will pick it up and then we can do this for the rest of my life. Well, we're at the Chill Cafe in Ella. Amazing food, guys. Really, really good. If you're in Ella, make sure you stop in here. It was good, wasn't it, baby? Now, I've got plenty of footage to make a video, so if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.